Hello my friends, welcome to another quick tip tutorial video for Adobe Photoshop and in this video I'm gonna show you where all the settings are saved on your computer if you're using Windows PC or laptop where all the settings are saved so you can transfer them to a new machine. As you can see here this is the layout that I prefer to be using and I'm only using these panels and then if I need more panels just go to this window and then you can go ahead and turn on more panels as of right now this is all i need i like it this way so what if i start using a different machine everything's going to be different right if i want to have exact same layout i just need to transfer all the settings to a new machine so let's get started if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you find this video helpful give it a like so first of all i would like to show you how you can save the workspace layout the way it is right now for example, I have already made this workspace that suits me the best. In case I'm going to do any changes and then I just want to quickly return to that same state, you want to save your workspace. So for that, you just got to go to the window menu, go to the workspaces. This is my current workspace saved. You can also go to the essentials. You can go 3D, graphics and web, motion. Let's say I go to the motion one, right? There we go. So as you can see, it has completely different panels all around. If you're working with motion, it's probably going to be good. But if you're working with just regular picture editing, it's not going to be as convenient. So if you go to the painting, well, it gives you different panels as well. So right now I have my Pulsar text saved. This is how quickly you can get to your workspace. And all these workspaces that are saved in the special file on your hard drive. And to get to this hard drive, all you have to do is just got to go to the My Computer. To open File Explorer on Windows, you need to press Windows plus E button on the keyboard. Then go to this PC. Then just got to go to the Drive C where your Windows is installed. After that, go to Users. Then you got to choose the current user that this account is registered right now. So just got to choose this. Then go to the App Data. And if you don't see the App Data folder for some reason, it means it's actually hidden. You got to make sure that the visibility is turned on. And to do that, you just got to go to the view menu over here on the top. You got to highlight this box right here, show hidden items. If I remove it, you can see that the app data has disappeared. So if this is the case and app data is not shown, then you just got to go to the view menu and put this check mark here. And as you can see, it showed up here. So let's go ahead and open up this folder. Then you just got to go to the Roman, then go to Adobe. If you have few versions of Adobe Photoshop pre-installed on your machine, or if you had some installed and then you deleted one, you still might have these folders up here. So you just got to choose the current version that you're using right now. In this case, it's going to be Adobe Photoshop 2019, for example. You see this folder right here, Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 settings. So you just got to open up the settings and you find this folder right here it says workspaces. And as you can see, so this is the preset workspace that I have saved myself. As you can see, it's uh, my second preset. So if I do another one, let's say I'm going to save another workspace and then we're going to call it Photoshop 3. And then here you can also choose what you want to save in that workspace so you can choose to save the keyboard shortcuts you can choose to save menus and toolbar let's do them all i don't think it's going to be much bigger file but then it's just going to save all the settings that you have so let's press save and then we're just going to go back to this folder right here and as you can see there is photoshop 3 just the one that we saved so yeah, this is it guys. This is how it's done. And you can just go ahead and copy these files to the USB stick and then go open up this exact same folder on your new machine on the new computer and then just paste these files into the exact same folder and they're going to appear right here. So you can load from your saved workspace and have exact look as it was before. So I hope you guys find this helpful. If you do, please give this video a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more interesting, helpful tip tutorial videos for Adobe Photoshop and even have some mini courses so you can learn from basics. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Also, if you still have any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. But this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye bye.